hello and welcome to another quick video and today i'm going to check out 14 falls like i think it, it has been years since i've been to 14 falls and this place is usually very spectacular especially right now after the rainy season i'm sure all the falls have water well i'm hoping that's the case and yeah basically it's a very simple plan going to check out the falls and that's it so yeah let's go and check it out I got this Lonely Planet book from, I think, textbook center a while ago and it has been very helpful in helping me plan some trips, some future trips which, yeah, I hope I'll be able to do them over the next few weeks or months. So yeah, a lot of uh, Africa travel coming soon and again, as usual, that is my favorite place in Kenya, Lake Turkana. Definitely, I keep telling everyone, if you haven't been to Lake Turkana, trust me, you haven't really seen Kenya that much and i'm hoping to do it soon again from where i took that sunset picture you can see this central island which is uh, an island which is inside lake Tukana. i'm sure i've talked about this before probably uh, one of the most magnificent places also i've ever seen and uh, yeah the only problem with accessing this place is it's too expensive because uh, you have to go all the way to the shores of Lake Turkana and then you have to take a boat to take you here. And the boat cost is, I think it's 25,000 shillings. So if you are alone, that is very expensive. But if you are like, I don't know, five people, I think the boat carries up to seven people. So you can divide the cost and that will be much better. But yeah, again, uh, yeah, you can camp here. There's a camping site and there's like a toilet. That's it. Everything else you have to carry. So this is one of my dream destinations to do again, like I want to go and come there for a few days. Yeah, should be fine. If you see those small pink things, those are flamingos. And on this side, uh, not this side, there is uh, like, uh, not hot springs, but there is like a geothermal activity. So there's steam coming out from underneath. And yeah, that is the lake surrounding the island which has three legs. I talk more about that on my documentary which you can also check out. But yeah, dream destination. Maybe I should do an invite and we go as a group. Maybe. I'm not making any promises. Oh, there is something else I was making. This book. Although this is going to take me a few years to finish. But basically, I think I, I'll rename it to Photos of Kenya or something else but it will be just pictures from all the different destinations I've been to. So like that is Lamu, uh, West Pokot, uh, Nabiatom Crater, Shaba National Reserve. That is a book I'm making, which is a long-term project. It's going to take me a few years. Uh, yeah, enough talking, let's go to 14 Falls. <laughs> Uh, it's very windy but we've made it to the 14 falls and uh, I think this is the most water I've ever seen uh, on this place 
usually you can cross from this side to the other side you can just walk but yeah i don't think anyone is adventurous or stupid enough to try do that right now yeah we're going to go down and uh, have a view of it from below This is the biggest problem with 14 falls. Yeah, a lot of that pollution everywhere. But it's still a stunning waterfall. Uh, we're going down the short nature trail, but I like how green it is right now. Yeah, we'll have to get on this board to cross to the other side so that we can have a better view of the waterfall. Because, yeah, usually you can be able to walk across or easily access the view, but the entire view is obstructed right now. So, yeah, we'll get on the boat. I'm a lifesaver. Eh? Life jackets are happy. Wapi? Is ni maji nyingi. Wakati hakuna maji ina maanisha tunaweza tembea. Mimi nikikufa na wakujia. Hai mzito tuwezi hai. Blade mkono. Sasa kuja. Tilapia. <laughs> yeah, there is waste everywhere. I mean, the waterfall is impressive, but there is so much waste which almost ruins the whole experience. Because, yeah, it makes you think did maybe something you throw also end up here? Most likely, because. Uh, this is Ati River and well I stay in Ati River <laughs> so Ati River it connects with I think it's Galana River down somewhere and that flows all the way to Indian Ocean but yeah you there's a lot of waste and there's also a smell of like dump I mean look at the rocks Fourteen Falls used to be a very popular place but then I think a few years back people stopped talking about it somehow because the last time I was here, I think, was in uh, 2012, and I'd say it was much cleaner, it was more serene. There used to be like a place down there where you could go for like a picnic. Uh, I don't think that's accessible anymore, but I can see the space, but it doesn't look, you know, appealing anymore. Because I mean, you're not going to sit here with all this smell of waste. So, yeah, as much as it's a standing location, the waste kind of ruins it. And. Uh, even if they do the clean up here, I don't think it's going to help much because the waste comes from elsewhere all the way down here. So yeah, it's a sad state to see. But yeah, let me get closer to the waterfall and have a better look. It's going to be very loud, so I already feel like I'm shouting. I hope this audio is uh, audible enough. There's also some very massive spiders.
Look at all that dirt. Nairobians, this is your dirt. And that's it from uh, 14 foils. Yeah, there's really nothing much else to do here. There's the waterfalls. There's some guys there who dive, so cliff diving. Uh, there's the boat ride across the river. And uh, there's a short hike that you can do on this side. So it's a short hike, but yeah, there is a lot of water and we honestly don't want to get our feet wet right now because we're still moving up and down. But yeah, I'd say I'm actually disappointed with 14 Falls, honestly. Like, it's a very stunning place. Like, you can imagine if the place was clean. It's very stunning. It's a very stunning waterfall, but... There's filth everywhere. There's a strong smell of filth also. And yeah, that's disappointing. So, definitely, I mean, it's the fault of the officials. I, and even getting here, you can't access it properly because the road is not the best and... Uh, it's a rough road, which... For rough road, it's fine, but there's no marking, so you have to keep asking, like, oh, where is the direction? But, yeah, besides that, I I don't know. It's, the last time I was here was in 2012. So this is more than 10 years later, and I honestly don't know if I'll be back anytime soon. So, yeah, that's the disappointing, which uh, I didn't think this video was going to be a downer, but unfortunately, yeah, that's just the reality of it. Hopefully the county government can at least step in and find a you know, permanent solution on this to make it a stunning place. Because I'm imagining, especially after the long rains, the water is going to be clear. So it's going to be you know, clear water. Very beautiful. But so far... Okay, enough rambling. Time to go back to the other side, check out this boat contraption. So when the water is not high, you can just hold on this... Uh, string and cross over to the other side but again look at that styro is it called styrofoam or st styrofoam whatever the name is there's even medicine bottles everywhere See? look at all that yeah terrible 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 so i give it a three out of ten apparently there's also fish there's catfish and uh, they say tilapia, but I doubt tilapia can survive in such waters. But yeah, on the other side there's hippos. And further down there's alligators. Things you don't want to meet. Ah, yeah. Gani? Oh yeah, Bele. Best Africa. Uh. Yep. Back on the boat. <laughs> yeah. So we've had to argue with these guys for almost 30 minutes about the price. <laughs> so me and Sam were playing good cop, bad cop. <laughs> yeah, these guys are terrible. Like anytime you come here, make sure you know in advance. Ask them in advance how much it is for the boat ride, how much it is for the tour guide. Have all the prices in advance before you do anything. Otherwise, you'll end up with a lot of arguments with them. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. You're ready to go. Get like that. <laughs> I'm gonna like drive down. <laughs> 